Hello, thank you for watching once again. This is going to be an unboxing for the Fluval spec, and what I'll do is I'll uh, actually put it together and then I'll show you how it works and kind of give you an idea of uh, what you can expect out of it. Let's see what we got here. Comes with these parts in here. Just pull them out one at a time. It looks like the lid. It's all the little parts. Here's the aquarium itself. Oh, right off the bat, I can see it's a really nice two gallon aquarium. And it has a built in overflow and filtration. Looks like there's some carbon in here, this little bag, and some biological. I'll more than likely go ahead and throw this into uh, the top of one of my filters. Looks like it's got nice aluminum side panels to kind of hide the, uh, the connections of the glass there. Alright, let's take a look at the parts that came with it. So you have some instructions, of course. Ah. Power supply. Uh, this must be the pump. I guess the idea is that it's going to pump water out. It's going to come out of a little attachment right there. Ah, here's the rest of it. And this must be the light. The light. Let's see where it obviously goes on there. It came with an Allen wrench. And I'm going to attach this piece here. Like so. sort of lowering it into place up here and take a look. I use this fishnet to kind of get it all the way down. Alright, I can squish those suckers onto the bottom once there's water inside. Alright, now the next thing is just to move this into place. This little nozzle can be adjusted to different directions. And it just inserts like so. I've opened this uh, bag of charcoal, and that will go back into the filter. I have uh, I have the other stuff in the hood of my aquarium, and I'll add that later. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put this in place. Get it ready. Aquascape. Next we'll install the light, which you can do with an Allen wrench that it comes with. And just use that to tighten it down. I think I'll finger tighten it for now. I don't know exactly where it's going to need to be. Alright. And I guess the last component is the lid, which is very nice. Alright, we're ready to put some water in there and check it out. had this aquarium sitting around for quite a while and I bought some of this uh, you can buy more of these ceramic pieces that go in the uh, fluval edge I believe and I've taken some out and put in another aquarium to help 
its first cycle and I'm going to put it in this portion in here. So this has been sitting there for about two months in one of my filter beds and should give it a jump start. Now to fill it up, what I'm going to do is take a simple piece of airline tube and I'm just going to pull it directly from an established tank. I'm going to use this uh, airline to slowly fill up the tank. This should help keep it from getting really super cloudy. All right, and here it is set up. The water, of course, is still cloudy, even though I trickled it in really slowly, but uh, hopefully that will clear up pretty fast. It actually doesn't look too bad. And I've got the light going and everything's wired up and running. So uh, we'll see how it does. All right, now the spec has been set up for a few days and the water's been tested and everything's nice. So I added a beta. He's kind of hanging out in the back right now. He seems to be doing all right. Uh, there's a lot of flow in here, maybe a little bit more than he likes, but he is uh, building a small bubble nest, so I know that he's happy at least to some degree. And it's still too soon to tell with the plants. Uh, these plants are really low light plants, so more than likely there's not going to be, uh, you know, not going to be a lot of growth anyway, but we'll see how the little LED light does. It looks really nice. Uh, I added some of the Allison's Beta Spa to this so the water's a little bit browner than, than it has been. The light's got a really blue, uh, really nice white color to it. And uh, the tank's been really good so far. One thing I did add was a small heater. I put it right in the back. And it's fully submerged back there right on top of the pump filter, so it should get good circulation. And, uh, and that's it.